Okay, Unit 2 for Visual Art 20, Ideas and Inspiration. Um, so in this unit, um, you're going to be exploring the sources of inspiration for other artists and how they um, gain their sources of inspiration for their artwork. And then you are going to be looking into what is your source for inspiration, and you're going to be creating an artwork around that. So in this unit, it's not prescriptive. Everybody's artwork is going to look very different. You might choose very different mediums to do this. Some of you might choose to go into the photography route, others of you working with clay, others with wire, others with um, different types of paints. So it will look very different for everybody because it's your source of inspiration that we're looking at. What inspires you and how can you then take that source of inspiration and transfer it into a visual art? Okay, so um, there are four assignments in this in this unit. They all build on each other. So they'll all, again, just like in Unit 1, they'll all be posted on your blog. But each of these assignments is building up to the final assignment um, where you have your, your artwork that you can present. So the first one is um, a research piece on sources of inspiration. I've given you a, quite a few... Um, PowerPoints that showcase different artists and what their source of inspiration is to help you see what your source of inspiration might be for your artworks, okay? So there's a bit of a research piece there that going on to sources of inspiration. Um, then you're getting into the actual, once you've done the research piece, you're into the actual art project. But there are three pieces to this art project that all build up. The first one is you need to make a plan. And your plan is going to be, um, my source of inspiration for this artwork will be whatever, right? Will it be another artist? My source of inspiration for this is um, the sports. Or my source of inspiration for this is the landscape in Saskatchewan. So you, your project plan will be telling me what your source of inspiration is for this artwork. Um, how you plan on going about it, what kind of um, materials are you going to be using uh, to create this uh, work of art, and your timeline as well for this. We have five weeks for this unit as well, the same as the last one. Okay, um, then you, that's your project plan, that gets posted up on your blog as well. Then you go in and you start doing that project. Your project plan might change. You might have said you wanted to do photography, but you don't actually find that photography is working for your art project anymore. That's fine. Go ahead and, and halfway through, you can switch and say, that wasn't working. I'm going to do this. That's all part of the process of creating this art piece. So keep that in mind. If you are switching something, that's a great blog entry. Because after your project plan, and once you're started in on your project, you need to at three different times be posting up reflections of how your artwork is going three different times before your artwork is due. So you might be talking about this is going better than I expected. These colors are so vibrant. I'm loving the way this is looking um, and post up some pictures of how it's going. Or maybe it's this isn't going right. I was trying to create an action shot and really show movement, but the movement isn't coming through. Well, that's a perfect blog entry as well, a self-reflection blog entry, because then on that blog entry, you can get feedback from other students. I'll be giving you feedback as you go through. Maybe I'll go to other art teachers or other art curators um, and ask them to put feedback on your blog as to how you can go about that. So that's all part of it. Those stop and reflex are a chance for you to talk about what's happening in your artwork along the way. And it's also an opportunity for me and other students and other people to post and give you feedback um, to help get you on that right direction. So the three blog entries are supposed to be posted as well. That's your third assignment. And then your final one is that final project. Um, how Your final artwork, you'll take a picture of it. If it's a 3D piece of work, something you did with art, make sure you're taking pictures of it from all different angles. You're posting that up on your blog and your self-evaluation. How do you think it went? What do you want people to see when, when they get out of that, uh, when they're viewing your artwork? So this all leads to the bigger picture. So you will have to pay attention to detail here, and I know you're going to have to be a bit of an independent abstract thinker here to be able to talk about what is your source of inspiration and then taking that, that idea and putting it into a work of art. Um, so remember, there's four different pieces. Your sources of inspiration research, that goes on your blog. Then you make your project plan, that also goes on your blog. 
and then you will be working into your transforming ideas. You'll be reflecting on your project three times on your blog, and then finally you'll be posting up that artwork. Now don't forget that through here we also are going to be having two different discussion boards uh, at that same time. And hopefully those discussion boards will help you to refine your ideas as well. And they'll help provide you an idea to talk about sources of inspiration and how to put that into a visual art. So the discussion board is there as well for you to connect to the class and to uh, have those, um, those visual art discussions along the way. Okay, as always, let me know if you're having any trouble along the way. We can set up an Adobe Visual, uh, an Adobe uh, Connect uh, audio chat, or we can talk on the phone, or we can email back and forth. Um, you let me know what, uh, what you want and how I can help you along the way in this process. Uh, remember as well that for this, um, you need to be um, trying, for the whole year's work, you need to be trying three different um, mediums, right? So if you worked with pastels last time in your last unit, maybe in this unit you want to be working with something else. Maybe you want to work with clay or acrylic paint, something different. Try three different types of, of mediums in your artwork throughout this course. Okay? So have a great unit and uh, we'll keep in touch through the discussion boards and through email as well.